Hi there, in this video we're going to look at matching two different clips. Uh, this is the same interview shot on two different cameras, uh, two different lenses, two different sensors, so the colors don't match. And a lot of the work we do is trying to get consistency across a bunch of different shots. Imagine if there's a button that did this. Ready? Three, two, one. Literally a button you can click. So good. It's called Color Match. It's in Lumetri Color. Actually, let's do one more. All right, so we need them both to match. Three, two, one. Oh, pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good one click solution. So let's uh, let's jump inside Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do it. Actually, quickly before we get started, you get a little bonus. Um, I uh, at the beginning said, let's make a new project and you make one and it opens here, but the old project's still open. You're like, oh, why are they doing them open? And it's, yeah, it's kind of handy, but kind of problematic. So there's the project that's kind of like forgot to close before making a new one. And this is the old timeline. So as long as you've got your new project, that's what I've called it, color matching. Okay, and as long as you've got that open, okay, you can go to file and just go to close all other projects. So it's gonna close everything else, but that one that you have selected here. I find that's quite useful. Uh, do I wanna save that one? You no. Know. <laughs> so now just color matching is open. All right, let's get going. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use the tourism footage from before. I'm gonna use uh, A, K, and D. Okay, hold down the command key on a Mac uh, or control key on a PC to select them individually. And I've probably covered this already. I don't know. I do a lot of this, just dumping it straight into the sequence. It imports it, creates a sequence, puts them in it. All right, so now we wanna match this one to this one. You can see they are very different in terms of their colors. Okay, this one has a really kind of dark moody blue and this one here has, yeah, it's a sunnier day, it's warmer, but we need them to be consistent for our ad. So let's look at using that color match. All right, color match is hiding under window. It's under Lumetri color. Okay, click on that one and you can kind of close this down. You can see there's basic correction. You can close that down, creative. We want the one that says, color wheels and match. They do change the, <laughs> change the name of this little tab a few times. So if you're watching this and you're like, I have no color wheels and match, keep on clicking them. You'll find something that has these little wheels on them. And what you're looking for is comparison view first. Okay, so you click on that. All right, and we've only got two in here. So it's pretty easy. Let's say we've got a third one, wait there. All right, so I've dropped that one in there and I wanna move it along and just put it in between. Remember our shortcut? Dragging, dragging, hold down the command key, Ooh, and it pushes along, look at that. Okay, so I've got this one, okay, A, that I wanna match to D, okay, but I want not to do B. <laughs> okay, so that's what this little reference side is. So I'm gonna make my reference bigger. Okay, so this is the side that it's gonna take the color from and dump it onto this side. So it's not this side. So this side is controlled by the CTI. You put it kind of where you want it to be. So I want this one. Find a good shot, you know, this is pretty easy because it's the same, you know, it's a really slow turn of a drone. So it's not gonna be, you know, there's not a lot of change in it. So find a good generalized place to start. And same with this reference side. This reference side's a bit weird to use. You see the slider here? You kind of just drag it left and right. Okay, or you can use this little slider and that, that's your entire timeline. Okay, so you've got to kind of guess that's the middle there. Okay, and this is the end. We're not going to match to the same. It might be different parts. Of this. That's going to be too hard. <laughs> Let's just do different clips. Okay, so right back here is that clip. Now, I don't have proxies on. Do I have proxies on? Nope. Uh, remember, proxies off. My button's gone. Uh, where's my button gone? There it is there back proxies and just make sure it's off. I haven't made proxies for this one, but if you have, turn it off. Okay, and all you do is hit apply match. Okay, ready, CD, go. Oh, so good. This is definitely probably the most exciting update for me. Like it gets you like 90% of the way there and often for me, don't tell anyone, that's enough. <laughs> okay, so there are some yellows in there that probably still need a little bit of work, still too warm, but like that's pretty amazing. Let's undo, redo. I'm just using this shortcuts, undo, redo. Okay, so um, I'm using the side by side. I can't remember what it is by default. It's probably side by side. You can do vertical split, okay, or horizontal split, and you can drag this line on comparison view, okay, but I'm gonna go side by side, that looks good. All right, so it gets us close. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was this, you can switch sides, so, it doesn't change what your reference, but you see the reference just moved from that side to that side. 
mm, you might like that. <laughs> okay, uh, the other thing we might do, well, we're gonna do is go to close. It's not perfect. Okay, so these here, this is what it's adjusted. Let's go edit. So watch this. Actually, I'm gonna undo with my shortcut and let's all watch this. So undo, redo. Okay, so it's basically moved the targets from the center here out a bit further. You can see definitely in the midtones. Okay, so what I want to do is look at, it's done a pretty good job everywhere. I'm looking at it going, it's still probably the midtones. They needed to be bluer, but maybe even a little bit more. So I'm dragging it down left and right. It's If you're dragging it, it's going very slow. That's meant to be like that. It's meant to be very slow. Okay, it's like fine adjustments. You can hold down shift if you want to drag this thing and go all over the place. You know, without holding shift, it will just kind of move really slowly and it's meant to do that. Okay, it's good. I'm looking at these highlights here. You can see, I like these midtones, this lower color, but can you see in the trees here versus the trees here? There's a bit of blue creeping in. So I'm actually gonna see if I can grab the shadows and say, actually warm those up a little bit weirdly to try and, all right, too far. <laughs> oh, it's almost there. There's a little bit of contrast that needs to happen, I think. So can you see here the shadows versus highlights? This is the brightness of the shadows and highlights. Okay, so where do I want to be? This is the kind of fine tuning. I still think there's probably too much warmth in these greens here, in these midtones, and in these highlights. So I'm going to make them a little bit bluer as well. You can't do it all from this panel because I think as well that the contrast is maybe a little high on the blacks here. So I go back to color correction and maybe the shadows okay i want to just wash them out a little bit okay too far obviously but there's a lot of kind of back and forth but color wheels get us pretty close and remember you can drag these midtone shadows and highlights to make adjustments you can make the midtones brighter um darker or you can hold shift on any of these things to make everything just run a bit smoother and face detection there will just protect skin tones without you know, without trying to make too big uh, changes to those skin tones. It's pretty clever. Now that's where I should really leave uh, this color match. And that's what I did with my notes and let's move on. The problem is, is that these are still too rich. You're like, hey, these greens don't match. <laughs> he said they do, but they don't. Okay, um, and we just can't do it all in the color wheels. This is the color wheel and match is a great, gets 90% and you can do some more adjustments here. Okay, but you end up crossing over a few different tools to kind of get the look you want. And we're gonna jump into, we're gonna do this later on, look for a video called Selective Color Adjustments, but we're gonna have to jump to it now. Uh, yeah, I'd love to separate these videos out nice individually, but hey, that's not real world. So we're gonna use this, hue, saturation, and luminosity. <laughs> Luminance, lightness, they're all the same thing. Okay, so what I wanna say is, we're gonna cover it better later on, but I'm gonna say greens, Okay, I want down here, I want to do some correction. I'm going to use just the single one rather than individual. And I'm going to say the greens, I want you to be a bit more blue and just keep an eye on up the top there. I'm going to go really far. You see what I mean? Okay, so it's just picking on the greens. It's leaving anything else. Okay, so the warmth in the buildings and stuff. So I'm just kind of dragging it down here. Again, holding shift will speed it up. Um, or you can just, just drag it around. So yeah, we'll do that more depth there. So there you go, it's getting better, close. All right, so what else? Let's do another color match. All right, we're gonna use two uh, clips from the exercise files under color. Okay, and we're looking for color match 02. So grab both of these two for me and bring them into your project, either using the media browser or dragging it in like I am. What I'm gonna do is make a clip from this first one. Okay, so right click, new sequence from clip, and we'll dump in this other one here. So I've got two of them. It's two of the same. <laughs> Good work, Dan. Uh, cam A and Cam B. Where are we? Cam B. Does everyone get lost a little bit when the sequence gets named the same as the clip? Oh, all the time. So I was going to call this color match. All right. So I've got two clips in here. Remember, open up Lumetri, open up color wheels, have the reference of where you want it to match. Like, I want it the other way around. I want... Like, can you see they're shot on two different cameras? So there is a very different look, okay? Different cameras, different lengths, uh, you know, lenses, different sensors, uh, you know. So these are similar, okay, but not the same. So what I wanna do is I think I like this camera B, okay? And we're gonna 
try and match the close-up. So I want the close-up to be here, and I want to steal from this one. Okay, so yeah, this is the end result. So this is the one I want to change. So I'm just going to hit apply match. <gasps> oh, pretty good. Pretty amazing. I love it. Like there is some maybe pink in the skin tone. We'll do skin tones later on, and I'll show you. I'll separate that one out completely. But man, pretty good, huh? Maybe just a little bit too much in the magenta. And it's probably in the same in the original one as well. So, you know, we're trying to match this original shot, which we're trying to do, but there's a little bit of pink in the skin. So at least they're consistent. All right, my friends, I should have started with that one because <laughs> it's a lot easier. Just like apply match and it works. Okay. And I probably use this a lot. I like it because I end up shooting like in my office and then downstairs and around the place. And it just adds a bit of consistency to the shoot. And like I said, it gets you 90% there to get started. All right, let's get on to the next video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to go further with Premiere Pro, you might want to join me for my larger courses. Okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.